Is your revenue stuck? If you're an entrepreneur and your revenue is stuck, you don't need to fix your products or services. You need new audiences to discover you more consistently. Podcast guesting is the ideal way to be discovered 24 hours a day by your ideal clients. And guess what? The more people that know you, the more people can flow you. Head over to podcastmasterypack.com and take advantage of your first or next podcast. Let's go. All right. <laughs> we, we just had our brother come up here. This is take two, by the way, y'all of Horseman Academy. Um, we, we've got a special guest today. Um, brother is doing big things in the podcast industry. But JC, what do you think he walked into? Because we just recently finished an episode right before he came. An interesting conversation. Interesting. B- um, brother Brendan. I thought so. What would you think? Okay, please. I thought so. Introduce yourself to our audience. This is Horseman Academy. You know, we try to give you actionable things that you can use in real time. Please introduce yourself and tell us what you thought about the conversation you just walked into. 100%. So my name is Brendan Boyd, uh, digital media entrepreneur. So uh, basically, I combine like my knowledge of like the, the digital marketing and digital products with podcasting. Uh, teaching podcasters how to monetize and, and, you know, how you can really get to it back through through media. Okay. Um. It, it was interesting, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he so he walked in during our Patreon. Segment, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, which, but, but you know what? It be sometimes it's wild though, <laughs> like just in general, because there, there's some shows that got you know they got the regular offering, and of course, then they got, and of then course. they got the after dark. We are we are you know definitely have a regular offering. <laughs> And then after dark, it, somehow he yeah, he was supposed to come dark. at he was supposed to come at three thirty. Oh, I thought he, it was three. Three thirty. Oh, I was early. He was early. Which, okay, no, which which I appreciate. That's good. Okay. Which I appreciate right. because in that he walked into the Patreon segment, and I think the first thing he heard was one of the wildest things I've ever said in my life. Yeah. But it was Patreon. Actually, I'm a professional corporate black in real life. So now you're getting that version. Got gotcha. you. <laughs> so, gotcha. so, Yo, but to be honest, I was I was excited to hear that you did have a Patreon. Though. Okay. Okay. So tell us why. Tell yeah, us why. Yeah. Because it, it it showed me or gave me the insight that there's there's a monetization factor. Yeah. In, yeah, yeah. In place, at okay. least one. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I personally wouldn't have chose Patreon because it's Walmart to me. Okay. And when people think about Walmart, what do they think about? Um, low value. There you go. Yeah. You know what I'm so I was just, you know, I like it because it's recurring revenue is coming in. It is. I love that. And a lot of podcasts, I would say less than 10% of them are really monetizing. You know what I'm saying? So okay. Good amount of my people that, that are in, um, in the community through uh, Patreon. Yeah. Which is awesome. Um, and I don't know what that number is. But it's it's kind of like the difference between like if you was going to Walmart and Target, they might have some of the same products and products, but the perceived value when you go to Walmart, I'm I'm gonna get a deal. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a little bit less. So most people on Patreon, you know they you know, you like yeah, it's seven a month, fourteen a month, you know, nine a month, ten a month, whatever. Um, so um, clients that I work with, I I say use the same strategy. I just have them put it in a different container. If we talk about the business of podcasting, um, this is a space that we own and operate. Mm -hmm. Uh, We support several podcasters. But the reason why I wanted to have you back on, I know you were on Real Estate Guru PK's podcast or the Realist podcast. Now he just changed it. Um, The reason why I want to have you on is because I've been doing the business of podcast for about five years. Mm. Um, I've worked with several brands. I've worked with several podcasters. Um, I've kind of got an agency set up also. So I really wanted to see maybe ways that you were doing it because there might be an opportunity for us to work together. I'm pretty sure there is. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so that's yeah, where a lot of yeah. this came from. I'm all about collaboration, Me too. you know, Me and, too. and all of that. Yeah. Me too. So I'm the same way. So, so maybe what you mentioned, Patreon yeah. being a Walmart. I'm uh, not even space. mad at Patreon. I'm just saying the perceived value of Patreon okay. is that it's just, you know, you're going to get a deal. Okay. But but you can have a, you know, a, a nice price point on Patreon. You can, but the majority of on, it's kind of like OnlyFans. Every, Facts. There's a lot of content on OnlyFans. There is. But there the perceived is. value of the content on OnlyFans is... It's diminished. Is, uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no, so, so, so yeah, you can have something on uh, Patreon that might be a nice price point, no problem, um, but the majority of people that are on uh, Patreon that have a, a service, you know what I'm saying, that's attached to it, or it could be a product, whatever the case may be, you know, it's, it's of lesser value. Because that's just what... When you go on Patreon, they already have their... Their price straight up, straight, straight up. up. Straight so up, so they, yeah. they're kind of like they're kind of nudging you to to price out a they certain. Are. They're not they telling are. you, but they they're definitely like, nudged yeah. us to price five, ten, twenty. That's what I'm saying. They did, and it's just like when you go on YouTube and um, whenever your page is monetizing, they give you a chance to do the like the members and all that stuff. It's like four dollars, five dollars. We we have that yeah. also. Yeah, so no wrong with that. Also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I and I have you got that too. Okay, but when there's podcasts relying on that, and you have to be like, okay, if it's five dollars. 
I got giving them a cut. Straight up. So what am I really getting? And I'm doing all of the work. You know what I'm saying? So you got to have other things um, in motion as well. So uh, I have no problems. Like like I have um, um, some of uh, uh, my clients, right? They got a really fire podcast. And they and I, I've been telling them almost a year to to put out their episodes because what they had a decent they had a model what the model was they were gating the full episodes and just putting out like Clips. segments yeah you know what i'm saying so i'm like yo just reverse it like put the segments gate the segments and put out the full you know so after almost a year they finally switched because they were doing like an app model okay you know what i'm saying okay. i think the app was like maybe like 9.99 which is cool i'm not i'm not you know but i'm like you're you're limiting your exposure because you're putting the full episodes, you're getting a full episode for 10 and you're giving people the segments. You're not able to really fully grow. Yeah. Like yeah. put put the segments in exclusive content that you can create in real time, gate that, let the full episodes rock. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be able to grow that way a little bit faster. So they did that and then they started streaming and just on YouTube alone, I think they're up to like 13, 15 a month. Nah, that's what's up. So, on, so on YouTube. So let's talk about maybe from the beginning. Then, yeah. how did how did you get into this? Like, let let's let's give people some background. So, on Horseman Academy, what we really try to do is is one, um, we bring people that we think will add some value mm -hmm. to our audience. Um, not only people who may be in content, but also just people who are interested in how this business really works. Hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. So, so how did you get your start? Yeah. And then where where did you kind of develop some of your skill set? Twenty eighteen. I'm in Boston. I look around. All my friends are in corporate. They make a six figures. Okay. I'm the only one that's really doing something entrepreneurial. Okay. I'm looking to the left. I'm looking to the right. I got no mentors. You know what I'm saying? The homies don't understand. I'm I'm working in real estate as an agent. I'm in my office. I'm in Compass at the time. I'm staying late. Nobody's in the office, just me. I hit one of my homies. I'm like, yo, pull up. He's actually the only entrepreneur that I really know was getting to the bag. Um, in options okay. trading. Yeah, yeah. And um, he pulled up. So what we started doing was working collectively but independently in my office. So he pulled like twice a week. We'd be there from like, you know, six to whenever. We work and throwing ideas back and forth. Okay. And then what I started doing was started inviting other people. So it was kind of like a like a small creative incubator. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, but what really hit me was like, well, if I want mentorship or coaching or just to meet people that were like really doing different things, business owners, I needed some value to to give them. Of course. Because you can't, you know, it was kind of at that point where it's like, you can't be like, yo, I'm going to take you to lunch. Yeah, like, yeah, that yeah, ain't yeah, working. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there has to be an exchange. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So so I was like, well, what type of value can I create that would be, you know, like a like 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 a, a fire exchange? Okay. So I was like, I could do these YouTube interviews. So at the time, it wasn't even a podcast. I was, I was asking business owners... Um, entrepreneurs, six figures, seven figures, whatever, whoever I could find that I felt like I wanted to connect with an opportunity to be interviewed on my YouTube channel. Okay. And what I realized is every single person I asked, they just kept saying yes. No one was saying no. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's rare to have a um, entrepreneur that doesn't want to talk about themselves. Exactly. Very right? rare. So they don't want to talk yeah. about themselves, their story, what they do, how they help people, yeah. their business, all of that. So I kept asking people. And what I learned was as I'm interviewing them, I'm learning. It's like it's like I was getting free coaching. Yeah. You know, you know. But so still at this time, I still didn't uh, recognize it as a podcast. OK. I ended up moving from Boston because I felt like I, you know, I didn't really have I was in the environment, you know, what I'm saying for what I wanted to do. I needed to be around, you know, um, just different people. And, uh, you know, Boston primarily is a smaller city. Straight up. So, like, you know, everyone know me. Yeah. You know, Um. I shared this on a podcast before where it's like I went apple picking two hours out the city, picked a random or uh, random aisle. There's hundreds of aisles picking apples with my uh, goddaughter. And then somebody still was like, yo, Brennan, what's up? At that point, I'm like, I'm out of here. Yeah. Cause I'm like, yeah, there's no way I'm two hours out the city in a random aisle. Somebody still knows who I am. So I ended up moving. Now, when I moved to LA and I booked somebody else to do an interview, something just hit me. And I was like, wait a minute. I think this is a, like a podcast. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I ended up rebranding it and then I just started focusing on it. But as I started to create, I realized that everyone that was sharing with me how uh, you can make money podcasting, they just kept talking about three things, which was um, sponsorships, um, YouTube money, 
and brand deals. I think I started that way also. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is yeah. backwards because yeah. when you're new, you can't get a brand deal Straight unless up. you're savvy. Straight you up. can't get a sponsorship unless you know what you got, you know, know, yep. know what you're doing. You got to know your numbers there. Right? Yep. Exactly. And you're not making YouTube money because you ain't you ain't in a position to be monetized. Straight up. And if you don't make at least $100 on YouTube after you, after you are monetized, they don't the give money. you money. You, yeah, they you, don't you can see it. Like, oh, 99. I got $92. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You ain't yeah. getting it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, when I got to LA, I just started to really double down on um, my knowledge. Okay. You know, like started investing more and more in like personal development, coaching. Um, I started to learn how to package and create digital products, you know, coaching, mentorship. But then at the same time, I was heavily invested in, you know, down that path myself. So I was spending money learning from people in programs yeah. and, 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 uh, and courses and stuff like that. And I started by just helping other people uh, package their knowledge up and turn it into digital products. Okay. Okay. Then it then it then it just it just really hit me, man. I'm like, okay, I'm knowledgeable in this space. I'm in this space as well. We can put them together. So I started to infuse like my knowledge of digital products and digital media. And a lot of po a lot of podcasters don't realize that this is media. Like yeah, this is a media yeah, business. Yeah. As soon as you turn the cameras on, you're a company. Me, yeah, hundred percent. You're a company, and yeah. it's a cheat code too because if there's a concert, if there's a, a convention, if there's a show, you can get free passes. Yeah, because you up. submit to be media. We 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 um. There's a lot of press passes that come out of this studio. That's what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, and then you can go there, meet new people, connect, connect, get some real content, yeah. build a relationship with with that promoter, or build a relationship with that um you know that team over there. Whether whether it be the venue or the team with the artist or whoever put the event on, yeah. And now now that might be an opportunity for you to make some money on the back end, or you might be able to just cover the next event. Okay, there's a lot of stuff that can happen just from that. So so it sounds like you moving from Boston to LA kickstarted you understanding that you could be a disruptor in the industry. Hundred percent, yeah. And then understanding that you could be a disruptor. What we, made we you, got to the disruptor? That's what I was. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what made? Because a lot of people they yeah. have great ideas. Yeah, um, I would say that um, the majority of us, black and brown people, especially, mm -hmm. all of us sit around and dream. Yeah, all of us sit around and come up with great ideas, but rarely do we execute it. We got to actionize. Okay, so I've actionized and productized. I know you from social media. Yeah. You shared your social media with me. Um, I shared mine with you. We kind of built a rapport from there. And I looked and I could tell that you've really been getting to it. Mm. Because a lot of people, social media isn't real. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a lot of fake clicks, mm -hmm. fake buys, fake et cetera. I didn't see that in yours. Yeah. Because if I saw that in yours, I'd have been like, yeah, what's up? Like, mm -hmm. I, would, I wouldn't have asked you on camera, yeah, but yeah. I would ask you off. Like, okay, let's talk about this before we get on yeah, camera. Yeah, facts. I want, I want to know what I'm really dealing with. Mm hmm um, when I saw that you were on the other show or it hadn't re been released yet, I was like, okay, I want to, I want to see what value he really adds. And then your exact question or your exact words back to me is I'm gonna bring a lot of value to people. Yeah. That matters. That matters. Yeah. yeah. Like, Facts. um, black men, we don't even always do that with each other. Yeah. I think it's important, bro. Like, like I even, I, I was even sharing on a realist. Like if I had to start it over now and if I was younger, the things that I would feel would be the most important, uh, pieces to the puzzle I, I would spend time on. And I feel like number one is financial literacy. Straight up. It's number one. Straight up. Straight up. Right. If like like if you're 20 right now, 19, 18, you even 50, it don't matter. And you gotta get it together. I would focus on that now. Straight up. Because if you focus on financial literacy, especially understanding credit and having access to capital, the game's pretty much open to you. Yeah, access to capital. To you. And, and you don't know me, brother, but by trade, I ma I manage money. There you go. So that's what I do yeah. by trade. So um what I tell people all the time is that if you know how money moves in the system, mm -hmm. then you'll know how it can move in and out of your bank account yeah. comfortably. Money's moving all around us right now. Right now. 100%. Every, this conversation is money. It's money. Like, yeah. for real. Like, mm -hmm. in, in what people won't understand, all Academy people have understood this when we do these episodes, that afterward, I've done a lot of business with the people that have been on these shows. Mm. Like, yo, what, what do we need to do to make yeah. this happen? You know what that's called? Networking. A pod, a pod close. I never heard that That's term before, close, bro. I never heard so, that term before. So what before. a pod close is, and a lot of, uh, you know, podcasters, right, pay attention to this one. You can intentionally or unintentionally have a guest on your show that might be a great fit for an offer that you might have, right, or vice versa. 
right? You're going to spend 20, 30, maybe 60 minutes with this person. So that means you're taking a cold audience, turn Straight it into up. a warm audience. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Possibly if the relationship is developing in real time, it might be an extremely hot audience. Yep, yep. So now if there was a wall, that wall is removed. Yeah. Right? They may literally tell you what they're looking for. You might be a solution to that or may, maybe be able to provide a solution for that. Yep. And then you can potentially do a transaction or build a relationship to do a transaction in the future. Now, if you're not that individual, you might have an affiliate partners. You might have some JVs. Where you can share the information 100%. to the audience. Hey, listen, man. Yeah. I got a I got a a, a partner over here. Yep. He can help you with that. You you're looking for a CRM. Yep. 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 And, yep, yep. But but that trust is now going to transmute over to your referral because you done built that for 60, 30, 60 minutes. And see, and what's crazy is you even bring up a CRM because most podcasters don't even use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I they don't even with use that. something that will manage their contacts, manage their yeah, calendar, I manage their referrals, yeah, yeah. all that. That's crazy that you bring if that you're, up. If you're a podcaster right now, you're not monetizing, the best thing you could do is just start getting your data. I agree. Yeah, yeah. If like if you don't know what to sell, if you don't, if you're not ready to sell, if you got some anxiety. Just start getting your data. Start telling your clients, hey, listen. I mean, tell, telling your audience, hey, listen, you know, join our newsletter. You know, join join our join our private, you know, group about whatever. Join our Facebook group. Because yeah. even at Facebook, you can just turn on the three questions and get the data, you know. Yeah. Um, that's the most important thing. Because maybe six months, 12 months from now, you might be in a position where, okay, now I'm ready to put a product out or some service out. You already done got a couple hundred emails, maybe a thousand emails. Straight up. Right? You've been nurturing them. They're watching the podcast in real time. And now you're going to pre-sell something to them or say, hey, I got something coming. A percentage of them are going to turn into transactions. Yeah, I think you... I and think you own that data. You can, you can convert. Like, so it's weird. Um, a small percentage of converting your audience could end up being big dollars. 100%. Dep depending upon yeah. the ask that you're doing. Yeah, 100%. So where would you start? Like, we got a little bit of your background. Yeah. What if if there was a new podcast? Let's say even Poor Horseman. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we've got a decent audience. Yeah. Um, we've been um, top fifty in sports, um, basketball on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. We've got a Patreon audience. We've got so. Um, so what are the current ways you're monetizing? Um, so right now we've got um, digital products, of course, like mm -hmm. merchandise. Yeah. Um, we've got the Patreon. We have, obviously have YouTube as well. Um, we also have some brand deals. We yeah. are um, partnered yeah. with um, a few um, sponsorships here in the city. But other than that, we haven't done much. I right. heard you have how many episodes I was hearing? You got We had 260. All right, you, 260. Yeah. First of all, congratulations. Man, you thank you so at, much, you brother. Almost at, you almost had 300. We that's, consistent, that's too. Yeah. We, consistent. Okay. We, we haven't missed a week in three years. All right, so boom. So you got 260, right? So I'm going to give you a couple things with this. So in 260, who who you feel like was a fire episode recently um, or recently. Maybe, maybe before? Um, we interviewed the president of Jet Magazine. Um, we've interviewed Turkey Leg Hut owners. We've interviewed um, some of our own episodes without anybody have been fired. Okay. So let's say you take one of those fire episodes, right? Now, in that, in that particular episode, maybe let's say it was minute 1122 to like minute, I don't know, 1401 or something. All right, let's say that's where the heat was. Maybe the heat scattered, but you bring it together, right? You could take that source file, right? You could upload it into a, a AI software called Audio Type, and there's other. I software, know exactly what you're talking right? about. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna pull the transcript. Yep. Grab that, grab that piece of the um the transcript, right? Then you can go on Fiverr with a formatter, yep. have them format that into an ebook, right? Now get a copywriter so you can clean that up. Uh, either go on Canva or hire somebody else on Fiverr to make a to make a cover. While that book is getting created, take that ebook cover and start pre-selling that at 2747, 47, whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. If you if you sell it at 47, 22 uh sales of that is, is your first thousand on that. You could pre-sell that for 30, 30 days or 60 days, start making money before the book's already out. Now that's some game. Right. And you could turn that yeah. book into over 15 products itself. Right? Another thing that you can do, since you done had 260 episodes. I don't know if all of them were uh, a guest or not, but let's no, say no, we do a lot of um, solo content okay. and guests. Yeah, yeah. So let's say, you know, to commemorate uh, episode 300. Okay. Let's just say, right. You can create another ebook and also you can turn this into a coffee table book. You can be like the 300. Well, let's say you had 150 guests out of those 300 or whatever you can. You, it could be something like, you know, uh, the 150 things we learn from different business owners, entrepreneurs oh, and creators. Legit. 
Yeah. Right. And every and every it don't even have to be a full chapter. It could just be a page. You know, it could be a summary. It could be a quote. Right. And then what you do is you go to all these because you own the IP. Yeah. So you can go to all the people that were guests and say, hey, listen, would you like to be a co-author? And then turn it into an affiliate. And now it's a ref share situation. Now you can have 150 different covers or you can put everyone on the same cover. Right. Now you can turn that into a virtual summit. Right. They can come through if they want. That could be a worksheet for the workbook for the academy. You know what I'm saying? You could take that and you can go speak at different colleges and stuff. There's a lot you could do for the content that you already have. Most podcasters will create content and it's, Straight it's up done. And, then, and leave it alone. And leave it alone. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, because like in the content that we make, some of it is evergreen too. Yeah. It's not all like this is evergreen content mm -hmm. for us. Like what you walked into was more topical. Yeah. Like that may not be able to be repurposed. Yeah. But a lot of our content, at least our academy, is evergreen. Yeah. Like we're talking about things for Well, I mean, that content can still be repurposed. You think you, so? Because cause you could take you could take the stuff that's viral, potentially viral. And then put it on shout out pages with a call to action back to one of your one of your products and services. Because we have several viral moments. Yeah. Like I'm talking millions of views. Yeah. So so those aren't dead. You could take those, repurpose those on shout out pages. You know, like let's say a world star, yeah, yeah. a millionaire mentor. Yeah. Right. And we know a, we know a couple of the proprietors of those pages. Yeah. We had um, the uncut and um, um, industry on blast. Okay. He was an interview of ours. Yeah. Like he came to the studio. Yeah. So so you repurpose on those platforms, but you have a call to action back to where you want them to go. You want them to go to the digital product. You want them to come to the academy. You want them to come to a, a, a workshop that you might have going over how to launch your podcast yeah. and then have a call to action on the back end. Or maybe you just want more data, right? Because if it's viral, it's viral. Virality isn't contingent upon the, 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 the actual... Um, conception of the contract It's just straight viral. Up, straight up, straight up, straight so up. So if it's yeah. viral and it's getting clicks and it's getting views, the caption, the percentage of it is going to convert to wherever you want to send the people to at the end of the day. So so if someone was starting with you new then, because I think that's um more advanced game. Yeah. Like that's someone who's well, done if 200 already, Yeah, if you're already moving. Yeah. If you're already moving. What would you do someone who, hey, I'm getting started. I've yeah. done 10. I think there's a strategy behind us. Um, what, what would be one of the first plays you would tell them? And you don't have to get your whole playbook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but want, what would you get started? I want, but I want to help people. Yeah, what would you get started? people? Start people. So, so the the number one thing I would do is tell them to do something with affiliate marketing. Okay. Right? So there's already businesses out here, right? There's already entrepreneurs out here that have already built the thing, right? And you don't have to fulfill nothing. You don't have to sell nothing. You don't got to deliver nothing. They will do all of that. All you have to do is register with them to be an affiliate and then put their product or service on your episode. So we have an audible deal. 15 bucks. Yeah, we get 15 yeah. for everybody that yeah. signs up. Is that yeah. what the example you would give? That would be an example. Okay. That would be an example. Now, okay. everyone, that, everyone that grabs um, an audible account, yeah, they get 15 bucks. Straight up. Right? Now, look at it like this. We talked about the CRM. Yep. Now, if you get an affiliate that's a CRM model, something that's recurring, you might get 20% of that price point, right? So let's say now you mentioned, excuse me, that CRM product and shout out to the lead attraction system, which is the CRM that I work with. Okay. Um, but let's say it's $300, $297 for that CRM, right? Which is gonna, which would really help a lot of people's businesses. Let's say they give, you know, they may give you 20% or something. That might be, I don't know what the math at right now. But $60. 60 bucks, right? Boom. So now every single... Uh, time somebody purchases it, not only are you getting sixty ducks, I mean sixty dollars, but you're getting sixty dollars every month. So as long as that person keeps that software, you're getting sixty dollars, right? What about uh, companies like ADP? They do payroll. Right now, ADP is giving a thousand dollars every time somebody gets a new AD, ADP account. So if you sign up to be affiliate on ADP, and somebody's listening to your podcast, and they decide like, you know, I do need payroll. Yeah. You don't got to sell nothing. You don't got to fulfill nothing. You don't got to deliver nothing. And if you get 10 people that get ADT, ADP accounts, that's 10 grand. Straight up. And your podcast can make money like that. Straight up. Right? Another thing that that I would, well, first of all, so they can go to JVZoo. They can go to clickbank.com. Say, say that. Well, ClickBank, we're aware of. So, but so say, J, say the first one again. Spell so J, it for them. So J, the letter J, the letter V, Zoo. Okay. JVZoo.com. They can go to ClickBank. Everyone needs to get an associate account on uh, Amazon. Okay. Right. Now, if you have an associate's account on Amazon, I could buy from your Amazon associate account and you can make money. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? So yeah. so you could be like, Brendan, um, that's you know, you need to get this light for your phone or something. Okay, word. You send me that link from your Amazon associates. I buy it from you. I enter Amazon through you, not just from Amazon.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I enter Amazon through you. Now you're gonna get paid every single time. What if I get it in and I get distracted and I don't even get the light? And I just buy a book. You still getting the money because, because I enter because I enter through 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 your link. Yeah, see, I think a lot of people missing that game. That's something we're reluctant. You to can do. even buy from your own Amazon link and get and get paid back. To we your haven't account. done that. Yeah, that is definitely some game that um, we we were aware of the Amazon process, but we thought we would have to like come up with some like product. Nah, nah. I it mean, could be anything. The thing about Amazon is dope. Is there's a lot of different ways that Amazon has positioned the consumer to potentially make some money. Okay. Right? Because you can have an Amazon store. You can make money with the Amazon stream. Okay. You can put books and stuff on Amazon, which I don't 100% recommend, but you can put books and stuff on Amazon. Okay. Um, you could do the associates. Yep. FBA. Yeah. And, and we've done some FBA yeah. also. So there's a yeah. lot of different ways you make money that way. Sec the second thing I think, if you're brand new, what I would do is start that community. Okay. I mean, some type of Some type of podcast membership. And the reason why I say that is because people are looking for a community right now. Yeah, yeah. If you've been on an airplane, there's normally two options with the seats, right? Yeah. You can do economy or you can do first class. Correct. Clearly, first class costs more. Correct. But clearly, economy, there's three times the amount of seats. And babies are crying and you got to wait in line to go to the bathroom. Straight up. Right? But in first class, you chilling. You got the blanket, the pillow, flight attendants talk to you nicely. You got a menu, probably got some, you know, a uh, nice little drink. You might see the captain. Straight up. Might be able to experience the cockpit for a second. You can get off the plane first. You're going to get on the plane first. People are willing to pay more for that experience. So there might be, you might only have 50 viewers, 50 downloads. It don't matter. There might be 10% of those people. There might be somewhere between three or five people that really like what you got going on. They want to be a part of what you're doing. Right? Yeah. So that 10% is pretty accurate. So if we, you know, I'm more reluctant to talk about our patrons, but if you, <laughs> but if you look at we our, in, numbers. but if you look at our Instagram numbers, yeah. and things like that, that 10% is pretty accurate. Yeah. 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 So, so now if you have a $49 membership, $99 membership, whatever you want to do, now your podcast is making $500 or yeah. $250 a month. You might be at show two or show three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because you have those offers. Because like what musicians have done that podcasters need to learn is you really only need like a thousand raving fans. Yeah, yeah, a thousand true fans. And of those fans, they can support your lifestyle for the remainder of your life. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah, and I they're looking at it all differently, though. That's yeah, I the think thing. podcasters get caught up in, well, why am I not as big as X, Y, Z, or why am I not as big as Y? When well, in reality, you can kind of be mid-tier being consistent and making good money. 100%. Like, like you know, I, I don't have wild downloads. Okay. And I don't, and I don't you know, I don't, I, I'm not out here like, yeah, my podcast is the most fire podcast with the downloads, right? But I figured out how to monetize. And I teach systems and strategies to help other podcasters monetize. Like, I don't have to have the crazy YouTube numbers. I don't have the crazy downloads. I mean, my podcast does cool, but I'm able to make a good amount of money monthly, like high six figures, you know, my month just off of the podcast. And is that from, so what What there's been a couple of strategies that people have presented to us that I've kind of disagreed with. Do you think people should charge someone to be on their show? I think that there is value here. Okay. Right? Now, you pay for the cameras, pay for the mic. Straight up. You went out and got a brand deal. Straight up. You got you got this nice rug right here. Straight up. You got all these lights. Straight up. We're in a commercial building. Yeah. With downtown Houston. Yes. This costs. It does. You know what I'm saying? You got lights. It's not got, free. Exactly. Now, I don't think every single guest may be the guest that you need to charge. I do think if people ask to come on this show, that there could be a monetary value. But I'll show you how you can do it so it doesn't seem like you're doing it. Because it, it seems kind of, so, so for us, and this is a transparent conversation because yeah. people, you know, who rock with the poor horsemen, you know, we've been real um, reluctant to have people on who have like, I even told you flat out. I was like, I'm not charging you. Yeah. Like, you know, or I asked though, uh, but you, but yeah. that's, that's what I was going to get to. That's why I want to be transparent with yeah. people because people are going to wonder why you're on. Yeah. Because there's never been any connection point mm -hmm. to us. Yeah. And they're going to like, oh, are they, they, are they taking money? Mm -hmm. And I want all audience to know that nah, we, we're not. We haven't changed what we thought, but it makes sense to tap in with someone like you yeah. because I see what you've been doing. Yeah. So, and this, and, and, and this is the thing. There's nothing wrong with 
charging someone to come on the podcast. That you Especially, need to say that, man, because that's that's tough to hear for people. There's nothing wrong with charging somebody to come on a podcast because this is if it's someone that knows what they're doing, if it's a guest that knows what they're doing, they're gonna monetize on the back end. Straight they're gonna up. use your content and monetize on the back end. So you're gonna see, grab your clips, they're gonna ask you for the files. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and if it's me, I know what to do with it. So them. if we have four thousand people who tap into this, yeah. you'll know what to do with those. I know what to do with them. Okay. Right? But this is the thing. Even if uh, someone may be reluctant or maybe not ready, because there, there is a thing, and this is something maybe you talk about in the community or just, just in general, right? People are afraid to charge. They think that's a problem or they don't price their value at a certain certain I, level. I definitely agree with that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So in the podcast con, uh, concept in terms of charging, you just present it as a VIP offer. So I'll give you an example. So I'm like, hey, man, listen, uh, I know you want to come on a show. You're going to go crazy. It's going to be great. Um, you don't have to worry about, there's no fee, but I, but we do have a VIP package. What would you say? So I need to know what the package is, though. I, I know, exactly, of course. But what would you say? You'd be like, are you interested in learning what the package is? Yeah, yeah, I want to know what it is. All right, so everyone's going to say they want to know what it is. Uh, yeah, when you tell me I'm a very important person, I want to know. Exactly, yeah. right? So you can be like this, right? So Podcast is Free is going to be on, you know, all the uh, all streaming platforms. platforms, YouTube, everything, right? But this is a VIP package, right? We're gonna we're gonna shoot a commercial for your products and service, put it inside your podcast. If you have that already, we'll just put it in there. We do an email blast, a text message blast. We we'll give you access to all your files, and we'll put together a four to six clip for you. And if you got a product, we run an affiliate affiliate uh, marketing with you on the episode. And we also go live on these platforms. We can go live on this one and this one for you. And it's only five hundred bucks. I mean, that's the sales pitch right there. You know what I'm saying? Now, will every guest take that? No. No. No, no, no. no. But yeah. will some take it? Yes. So if you're shooting four episodes in a month, right? We we do eight. Okay. I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah. If somebody do four episodes in a month and one person takes that, you just made 500 bucks. Straight up. If you if you do eight episodes, right, and two take it, that's a thousand. What's going to happen? Obviously, eventually, you're going to get through the no's and get more yeses. Yeah. And then some people are going to be like, oh, this is a really fine platform. I actually want to pay to get on it, to provide value, to get in front of people. So we've done ourselves a disservice by telling people no. 100%. Because we definitely have people who will DM us. Yeah. How much does it cost to be on your show? Yeah. And the thing is this. If, if the way that you would be accepting money is a deterrent, just repackage what you would put the money towards. Straight up. Right? Maybe you put that money towards upgrading Cameras the studio. or lights or, yeah, yeah. Maybe you get another producer. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Maybe yeah, you need more we need work. To, we need to fire this dude's great. Yeah, no, 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 no. He, he out of there. This is last day. You know what I'm saying? You saw how he was acting before you came here. You know, this is last day. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you use that to purchase some giveaways, give it back to the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe you take the horsemen the poor horseman on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is another thing that I can talk about how you can uh, monetize and stuff like that. But this, like, not taking the money isn't a win. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Especially like, for like, us. Like, there's there's no pride in yeah. not taking the money. So now, you, so now yeah. the people that you said you're not going to take the money, did you still let them come on the show? No. So now they didn't get they didn't get the value. Yeah. So you so you probably you probably denied the audience of the value that they was going to bring Straight unless up. they didn't fit. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and that's different. That's it. But we, but we, that's why we have. If we don't think of ourselves as a podcast, we're more of a platform. There you go. That's why we have You're multiple couple, different, different ways. Yeah, yeah. There's four of us that are on here, mm -hmm. and of the four of us, each of us kind of have a breakout. There you like go. mine is Academy. Yeah. Like so, you're on that right now. Mm -hmm. People know when they will click on this that we're gonna be talking gonna about things something. they can use. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then we got people who talk about movies and stuff like that. We got someone who talks about sports, and then we get together for then, what you saw. Yeah, early. yeah, yeah. And, and y'all go a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 it seemed to work. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So um as we've grown, we determined that each of us has a interest yeah. that we want to feed into. And if there's a way that we can build on that interest, then why not give it to the audience? No, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So so you would say then, one, someone should start monetizing from episode one. Like they should be no, trying to figure out how to monetize. Hundred percent, yeah, yeah. And then you think it's important for someone to work with someone like you because that'll get them further along in their journey. Yeah, because you won't have to stumble and fumble and yeah. then go through, not against you, but go through 260 episodes and, and 
not make as much money as you probably should have. So I've what, done the same thing on my side. Like I, I went through probably like 50 episodes before I was like, how am I going to get to this bag? So what what would you... Plus so, plus my plus the online show. And the online show, I probably was like 150. So probably like 200 episodes. So you've seen our um, social media. You've looked at stuff. Um, a show of what we've been doing. You've seen... You see our set and everything yeah. now. What, what do you think this show should be doing then? So the, the number one thing I would do for you, since you're the money man, is I will put together a money course, all right? The basics of maybe budgeting, understanding finances, credit cards, maybe travel points, rewards. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's something there about insurance. Of United 1K. You know, maybe you know something there I don't about... play with that. <laughs> I don't play with my United. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe something in there on, uh, you know, creating your emergency, your emergency fund, your um, investing fund, saving fund. You know, maybe intro on investing. Yeah, all the behavioral finance all, stuff. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff, right? Yeah. And, you know, you you put a price on that. And maybe that's two tiers. So I could pay, let's say, four ninety seven or nine ninety seven on a do-it-yourself. And that's way worth it because I wasn't going to get that information anyway. So it's worth a $1,000, 100%. All packaged up. And I just need to go to each category easy yeah. in the comfort of my own home or on a vacation. 100%. Um, or I can do... That premium option, w w which might be a three month journey with you, yeah, that might be five k. Let's just say, yeah, yeah, ninety days. I'm locked in once a week. You know, saying you give me homework, accountability, all of that stuff, and I get the course, whatever. Right now, if you got three people on that five k, that's fifteen k straight up. So I, I kind of build those for other people, though. Yeah, you can build it for yourself. I haven't done that yet. Yeah, Academy needs that. Hundred percent. They need. I that. have definitely not yeah. done that. But but in looking at the show in general, yeah. What would be your impressions? Because I always we we like to self check ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Um, what would be your thoughts on just in general looking at the show? I like the show. I like the fact that it's basically like you said, it's a platform, it's a network. Yeah. So you got a lot of different, um, you know, offerings. Yeah. You know what I mean? I really so coming in like you mentioned the Patreon. I was on the back. I was like, okay, I'm taking a mental note. I saw the brand deals yeah. here. Right. So that's great. I'll start leveraging that to get more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of corporate companies out here that they have the money. Of course. They want to spend it, but they just need to find out who you are. Yeah. So I will start leveraging the platform more and leveraging the brand deals that you already have and then go get some more money. I would definitely hire somebody to do that. Like hire like a VA, uh, write down like a hundred companies that, you know, um, might have brands, products, and services that are in alignment yeah. with, with with Paul Horseman. Um, and I'd be like, hey, listen, this is, you know, this is that intro email or whatever. You know, um, you can even get, I think hunter.io is a way, uh, it's an extension, AI. It will scrape contact information for you. So you can get some of these corporate companies' contact information and then just have a VA just start, you know, reaching out to them. Yeah. So out of that 100, unless you got 10%, there might be 10 companies. Straight up. 10 conversations, out of those 10 conversations, you might get three brand deals. We're going to close at least five. But guess what? Yeah. Now you have the collective, you got the collective um, power of all your shows. Straight up. Right? So now you might go get 50,000. You could bust that back down with all the shows. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That brand gets reached on all of those, on all of those episodes, you know, certain amount of episodes on all the shows of or course. whatever. Of course. Right? And now you got nice little bag right there. From three. So so how do people what what's your starting point for people and how do people work with you? Man, okay, so uh I got a couple of things, right? So if you're a podcaster and you just want to get going, you ain't launched your show yet, I got a free program for you. Just go to one hundred K podcast program dot com. Okay. Completely free one hundred K podcast program dot com. If you want to learn how to monetize the podcast, I got something else for free. You can go to podcast2profits.com. I mean, uh, podcast2profits.live. Okay, dot live. Okay. Right? It's a free workshop I do every Thursday. They can come in there. I'll give them four keys. It's live. I go for about 90 minutes. Uh, I'll be on this Thursday. Okay. Plus, minus. We'll go through some stuff, answer all questions, and then I have some I have some opportunities in there for those that it may, may, yeah, that, that's where you can sell. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I'm, you know, I'm sharing. Okay, okay. 100%, yeah, yeah no, nah, so I definitely, so podcast 100K. Uh, yeah, uh, 100K. Okay. So 100K, podcastprogram.com. Completely free. Pro completely free. Completely free. There's probably like 30 plus videos in there. Okay, yeah, okay. completely free. And then, so, so here's a question that I would have for uh, maybe the audience who doesn't, 
that would want to ask this. A lot of people feel like when someone's selling them something or giving them something, they're like, man, I now I'm locked into something. What if I don't feel like I got the results? Yeah. Like, w- what is your thought process on making sure that people get the results? That you got to do the work. Program? Okay. Yeah. I mean, just because you spent money don't mean it's just going to happen. Straight up. Unless you're doing a done for you. And if you do a done for that's if you do yeah. a done for you, you're gonna spend a done for you money. And it's gonna be expensive. You know what I'm saying? Hundred percent, right? It's the difference between you being on like spirit and then United. You, Emirates. Yeah, I've been on Emirates one time. You it know what I'm saying? It, bro, Emirates felt like you was flying on the clouds for real. But you spend a bag. You did spend you a know bag. What I'm yeah, but that's only on overseas flights. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. I'm saying this, yeah. so so Emirates would be like a done for you an example. Straight up. So so you could do like a you know, like with mentorships, there's different levels on mentorships too for different people, but some people have a situation where like we're doing it together. Okay. Some people have a done for completely done for you. You show up, but we're put we're you know, it's almost like an agency model. So we're gonna put everything for you. Gotcha. You just can make sure things are how you want them. And then there's the DIY, which is like it's packaged up already. It's all um, positioned. You just have to go through it. So you don't got to be on YouTube or in, you know, on Google or whatever, searching it, trying to piece it together. Someone already put it together and put it in order. You just have to do the work. But you know the percentage of people that actually finish courses? Oh, it's super low. Yeah, 7%. Yeah, yeah I, I thought it was probably less than 5. Yeah, well, yeah, it's yeah. probably between 5 and 7. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. um, I know even the stuff that we've done, like most people will get in and they'll never get past session one. Yeah. So so to go back to what you were saying about if they don't get the result, they didn't get the result because they didn't do the work. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? You got to do the work or you're going to spend for a different experience, but you can't have it both ways. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to do the work and then you got to think about who's the person you want to become. And if you want to become that person, you got to do those habits till you can become that person. So you're you, a mindset person then also. I'm 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 definitely 100 yeah, percent I go by mindset that, person. I definitely go by that. Okay, so so I wanted to quick hits, a couple yeah. things, because this is some stuff that we had text. Rapid each other. fire? Rapid fire. <laughs> okay. All right. Digital products. Yeah. What would be a digital product you would rep- recommend? Um that they can create. That they can create. So all right, if you're a podcaster, there's probably something that you do outside of podcasting. Or maybe you're going to start podcasting. So think about what is something that people ask you for? What is something that comes naturally good good for you? Or what's something that you see in a marketplace that either isn't there or can be improved? If you okay. can answer one of those three questions, you can create a digital product around that. The easiest one for you to create is an ebook, and you can start pre-selling the cover of that product while you're building it to start making money right now. Okay. Okay. Um, how do people get involved in coaching and speaking? 100%. So with coaching and speaking, you got to start doing your own virtual events, I would say. So I would even go on live with a topic, just start giving away free game, right? Get comfortable. Some people aren't comfortable, right? Uh, speaking in front of people. Straight up. So if you start, if you go live every day, right? And then you start uh, pitching yourself to go on podcasts, right? Like be a guest, bring some value. Hey, yep. listen, you know, I'm good at architecture. I want to talk to your audience about how they can get an architecture, right? Get more comfortable. Now, when you're comfortable, like, yeah, I can talk to 20, 40, 100 people, right? Put together a one sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you? Your yeah. bio, you know, uh, all your links and stuff like that. Um, and then use that one sheet and pitch it to, you know who's giving a bag away for free? Colleges. They do. They, do. they got the money. They do. Right? They have speakers bureaus on every university 100%, campus. right? Yeah. And if you want to get a little bit of coaching, a little bit of structure, or just get locked into a community, I would go to eSpeakers.com. Okay. They, it's like, it's hella cheap, bro. It's like 70 bucks for the year. And you're now you're a part of that community. And um, there's a bunch of speakers in there. So they'll give you access to uh, potentially pitching yourself to get on opportunities. And then on the other side of just the network of speakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then last one, podcast agency. Yeah. W- what does that look like? What do you do there? So um, you know how they got faceless YouTube? Yeah. So podcast agency is basically faceless. You can be someone that's in this industry and don't be a host. Don't go on those shows. Don't have no equipment. You could just be somebody that builds the relationships. And when I meet someone like yourself, and I'm like, yo, you know what? I think it'd be great if you uh, tell more people about what you do. I can get you on these podcasts. So now you're basically facilitating the the go-between between between the guest and the host of the podcast. And then whatever money, monetary exchange in there, you you probably get someone between 10 and 20%. And if you start doing that consistently, or if you build packages around that, it ain't that bad, bro. Man, I've been tripping, bro. I'm really tripping because I do that for free. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. really tripping. I don't. 
We're going to talk. So look, look, <laughs> Brother Brendan, please tell the people where they can find you, how they can get in touch with you. Obviously, I tell you all all the time, if I have someone on, I'm interested in doing business with them. Um, you know, I don't I don't do things like this. Um, what's the term that old men say? Willy nilly. <laughs> like um, I, I really look at this as an opportunity to really ex exchange some value, share some stuff with y'all. So please tell the people where they can find you again. And I'm sure we will have a conversation another time. Yeah. So before I do that, um, I just want to say, bro, I'm really appreciative. Nah, man, come on. I'm very appreciative of being here. Shout out to your producer. Hopefully it's nah, not. Nah, this is last hopefully day. Hopefully it's not your last this day. This is last day. He got one more you know pod after this and he fine. Um, <laughs> but yeah, man, th th this has been great. And I just want to show people just the power of being available. Straight up. Uh, knowing, knowing your information and, um, you know, putting yourself in positions to have an opportunity. Because when I came here to Houston, I was like, I know which show I'm going on, but yeah. then the opportunity present himself and it's great, right? So I'm appreciative. Uh, so that's something that everyone should do. Like go on a show every week if you can, reach out to somebody and DM every single day. So you think I should be going on shows? 100%. Because right that's now- That's how you're we, gonna grow the horseman. Because we've been more insular. Like no, no, been, you need to be, you need to identify all the Houston shows you probably know and then just go guest on all of them. You're gonna grow your podcast. Because we definitely haven't been doing that. You gotta do that. How are they gonna discover you? But we so we thought we've been growing, but we obviously have. No, you been. are growing, but you want to grow. We could rapid growth that. Yeah, yeah, you got you got it. So I got this strategy called the five two W. Okay, one podcast a week, fifty two weeks. That's fifty two different platforms in one year with thirty to sixty minutes of time per week that you can be on fifty two platforms and be discoverable. So if there's four of us, we could split that up. You can split that up. That's 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 legit for real though, and that's so doable. Now, what if you were like, man, what if I just wanted to? Spend two hours a week on my business. That might yeah. be two shows. Straight up. Might be three. Right? Now you two to three X the amount of show that you're on. And if you know what you got going on, you grab all of the source files. Straight up. You redistribute that content. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're omnipresent. Yeah. It get a little crazy. And, and we are editors. Yeah. Like that's what we do. There you go. Like, yeah, yeah. We yeah. we know how to do that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So um it's it's Brendan Boyd on all platforms. That's uh I T S Brendan B R E N D A N Boyd. On all platforms, um, check out the YouTube, check out the podcast. I got the free workshop every Thursday. If you're an aspiring podcaster or a brand new pod or or a seasoned podcaster, but you're not getting to the bag, let me help you get to the bag. I'm gonna give you four strategy for free that are actionable, so you can productize and get to some money uh, with your podcast. And is the money real? Because that's what people are, like. They know we're very transparent with yeah. our people, especially our patrons. We let them know what we're making. Mm -hmm. Like we. Not only are they supporting us, but we let them know, hey, this is what our brand deal was. Yeah. This is what that is. This is what the, we made in merch. Like, we are very transparent. Maybe not with the full audience, but yeah. we are. Is there real money? Like, because someone would be making 10, 30, 40,000 a month off of a podcast. Yeah. So, um, year to date, I'm probably at 350 with the podcast. Like, From every, January yeah, with to September. With everything, yeah. So, it's yeah. probably it's 250 on Stripe, on both Stripe accounts, total 250. Yeah. Off the Stripe is about 100. Yo, he getting to it. Yeah. He getting to it. And if and, and I, I calculated what I need to do to get to a million. Sixty six more sales on one on one transaction. On one platform. On one transaction. Oh, so one like, service I mean, uh, offering. On you one got, offer. On yeah, one, one offer. Sixty six on this one million. specifically, it'd be a million dollars. And if people want interested in that, we need to talk because I want to do an affiliate with you. Hundred percent. And I'll give you this for free and everyone. So I have this free affiliate, right? It's called the Podcast Mastery Pack. Now, if you're someone, if you're a business owner, you don't want to pay someone to help you get on shows and you want to know, how can I get on shows myself? I put it together for you, right? It's $9.97. Any podcast can register for the Philly. I'm getting 50% away. Okay. So that's an extra $498.50. And all you got to do is put the commercials inside your podcast. Of course. I, I've already shot them. Okay. Commercials done. Okay. Audio's done. I even give you a live read. So man, you can recreate I, it yourself. I love a hustler. I you love a hustler, man. I love a hustler. I want to make it easy for y'all. Like, like our producer would know. Like, um, hustlers are <laughs> close to my heart. <laughs> That's the only reason why he's still here. Because yeah, yeah. he's a hustler, too. So otherwise, he'd have been gone. But look, this LP... We got our brother Brendan with us today. We we talked um, full podcast. I think it's the first time we've done a podcast business. Mm. We've done real estate. We've done Turo. We've done Airbnb. We've done, um, hell, we've done fitness industry. We've done a lot of in the academy. I think this is the first time we talked about podcasting. As long as they understand it's an actual business, they're going to be straight. 
Most people don't take it as a business. That is true. A lot of people who shoot, they think it's just for fun. You turn on the cameras, it's a business. Create an LLC around your podcast or make it a division of your business, right? Set that business up, have that structure proper. Guess what? You can get access to capital with the podcast alone. Now that podcast has access to business credit Straight or potential up. loans. You can finance the podcast. Yeah, go get that get access score. other things. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, go get that score. Look, this is the Horseman Academy. Brother Brendan, we appreciate it. Hey, man. It's we been out. great. <laughs>